Today we are going to discuss about Lechadodi Likrat Kala. Just in a few hours in New York, we are welcoming the Shabbat. And welcoming the Shabbat with a beautiful song of Lechadodi. And I want very much that you will listen to this in my composition, playing my son Yaakov and singing myself with him together. So listen to the song and then I will speak what you have behind this beautiful song. So what you heard now was my composition, Chadwadi Katkala, played my son Yaakov and singing with him together, the Chadwadi Katkala. Go my by to the Kala, Hatan and Kala. No, beautiful song, definitely based on the idea that God and the Jewish people like Hatan and Kala. Yeah, it is a famous idea is one knows based on the Medrash which says that Sabbath complaint to God I don't have a couple Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but I'm lonely. So God said no you will have beautiful color. Yeah? Jewish people. So this is really all the idea of this song. To be loved, Dodi, uncle, but his beloved Dodi, Likatkala, come to us. This is a service today, definitely. As we say, the Hebrew word Shabbat is Shin Bat. The Shin come to the daughter of Israel. So let us now speak about what you have in this wonderful. Song, not song, a beautiful song, but in the words, what is behind, what is behind, which is very Kabbalistic song, you know, that it was composed a long time ago by the great Kabbalist, Abshlom Sadek, al Kabez. So definitely this song has to do with Kabbalah, in fact, is based on ten parts. I mean, you have in this 
וחד עודי, ותושול, קמתי תאב תן פרס. ושיר לי זה בישן, שלמה קבץ, שמור וזכור, לקראת שבת, מקדש מלך, נערי, ולי, הזריק לי שלמה הלוי, זה מה שהוא עושה. אז הוא עושה את זה, ולחד עודי, יאב תן פרס, אין, יש לי פרק, זה יאב תן ספירוס. This is a song of Tshuva, which I composed. Shuv alai wa shuv alachim, this is based on the Prophet's words. And this is to do with Shabbat, because Shabbat is written in the letter Shabbat. I like the Shuvah, because this is that day to repent. So Shubu Elai wa Shubu Alechem, you said, God said, come back to me and I will come back to you. So going back to the Chadadi, it's amazing how important it is learning Hebrew to know and to read Hebrew. Because in Hebrew and translations, it's like black and white. Here, I'll give you an example. The beautiful example is really the song Lechadodi Likrat Kala Pnei Shabbat Nekabla. Right? Lechadodi, my beloved, go to Kala to the bride. Pnei Shabbat, the face of the Sabbath will welcome. Okay, in English, in English, beautiful explanation, translation. Okay, but what you have more in Hebrew that you don't have in English? What you don't have, you don't have the message of the number of letters. Well, the letters, when you translate the Chadodi Likrat Kala in English, you will not have the same number of letters in Hebrew. Yeah. So, what is in Hebrew? In Hebrew, the Chadodi Likrat Kala have 26 letters. Yeah, 26 exactly, you can count. L'chadodi, l'chadkala, l'chadodi, 3, 4, l'chadkala, yeah, you can count exactly 26 letters. In l'chadodi, l'chadkala, 26 letters, which definitely indicates to God. Yud kevavke, yud a, a, five, five, six, a. You say in English also, God, G-O-D, also 26. And he said it's only in Hebrew, 26 are two words, Echad 13 and Ava 13, because Shema Yisrael Hashem Lokein Moshe Echad, God is one, 13. Jews are not afraid of 13, you know. In Israel you have also, in the, you know, in the lift you have number 13 also, in the state is a problem. Okay, so this is, and Echad, Shema Yisrael Hashem Echad, so 13, you know, in Hebrew, you have 13 midot, 13 attributes, you have 13. Race and Torah, <laughs> certain very very important. So twenty six to thirteen. In English also G O D, God is good. So the Chagadi Likrat Kala have twenty six letters, which in itself is a message, right? Godliness in this verse. This is also part of our song, or Shabbat Yom Shabbaton and Yishkoach. Don't forget the day of Shabbos. And this is the day of rest.
Yes. This is a day of rest. The day the Jewish people find rest in it. God gave us this day for rest. Now let us see more things in the Chadodi. And this is a beautiful build up of this part, the Chadodi Likrat Kala. So if you take this sentence, the Chadodi Likrat Kala, you can immediately realize that it is built of four and three. Right? The Chadodi Likrat Kala. Go, my beloved, towards by May Shabbat, May Kabbalah, the face of Sabbath, you welcome. Yeah, clearly, Chadur Dili Katkala, May Shabbat, May Kabbalah. So there is also a message in the four and the three. If you remember, I told you a beautiful idea about God, Gimal Dalet. Remember, if you write God, you write the letter Gimal Dalet. You know, the shape of the Gimel, like a man who is going, we said, Dalet is poor, we send always next to the door, next to the Dalet. So the Gemara says, it's a good person, is a man who goes to help people, you know. So Gimel Dalet, three to the four. We said also, again, three and four. Three represents the giver, and four the recipient. It is very interesting also, that you have the triangle, yeah? like a three, also the shape of influencing you are giving them. And you have the box, which is a four, right? Four. This is called Merubah, yeah, quarter. Like a, a vessel, it's four lines round. Recipient, so amazing. So the three, the triangle is the influencing, and the four is the recipient. You have three, four fathers. And for four mothers, normally the father gives to the mother. Okay, but this is amazing idea, definitely. And this is Gimal Dalet, representing really how many the three give to the four, the giver, the good person will give. That, but if you read this word backwards, you have Dalet Gimal. What is Dalet Gimal? Uh, what is Dag in Hebrew is fish. Why is a fish opposite so Mirati Naim says amazing idea. It says because fish is exactly the opposite of God. Why? Because God, Gimal Dalet, means a good person, a good person who goes. Yeah, to help. Yeah, he goes, he looks for people needy and helps them. So this is exactly the right way of Gimal Dalet. Dag the fish represents exactly the opposite because the fish all the time you can see in the water the mouth is open and open all the time. I mean, it's a symbol of somebody like he's thirsty, want to get water all the time to get more and more. Yeah, exactly the opposite of a good, good gimal dali. He goes to help the poor and he likes the poor one, like looks like the fish is poor all the time to be in the water and it's right. So, that this is what really the situation is. In fact, he says this, this is one of the reasons to eat fish on Shabbos. We should feel like fish, like some fish is purity, butter. But also, not an explanation, correlation of righteous people, whatever it is. But the main idea, he says, is that we should feel on Shabbat and Sabbath, which is day of learning. We are not working. Yeah, we are not looking around, you know, for shops. We don't go out. Really, you have time to study, to learn, and then we should have more and more really thirst to learn. And Torah is like water, yeah? This is really the idea of eating fish on Shabbos, because the men in, fi- in Shabbos should learn as much as they can. You should have all your children around, not the children will be out, but all the family is speaking about Torah, with a portion of the week. How much time of learning? You want to do more and more. <laughs> like the fish in the boat and all the time running around to have more and more and more. This is exactly the idea. Interesting, once I gave a lecture to people, if you, students and so on, who learn the languages. So I want to show them that Hebrew really has meaning behind every word, which you don't have in English. So I told them, tell me, people, you can tell me why the opposite of God, G-O-D, is D-O-G, dog. What about a dog? To do with God. I don't know if he said, maybe dog, you don't know what to say. So I told them, why you don't know? Because you don't know Hebrew. In Hebrew, 
dog is fish, and the explanation has to be said. In English, the dog is a caliph, dog. Not dog, interesting, the, the Americans say dog, it is exactly like a fish. <laughs> the English say more dog. So what is the idea? The idea said because the dog, is in the, in the Bible is written the dogs are always thirsty. Revim, they always are looking for food. Yeah? Exactly like the fish. So this is like the four and the three. So it says this was the dog. In English is the opposite of God, because God is good. He's going to help the poor. While the dog is opposite, he looks for givers. Amazing idea. Behind this letter. But all is four and three. So this is why the Hadodi stuck with four and goes to the three. Because we are like a dog. We are four. We are poor. We are looking for a giver for God to teach us more and more. song which I composed also playing singing by my son and self and this is the Sudash Lishit the third meal of Shabbos in Jacob and a beautiful song and this is a psalm that we say three times Mizmor David Hashem Ruhi Lo Yosav Mizmor David God is my shepherd I will not like anything composed, it was a certain, certain event that South Africa, that I had to compose songs for the Kento, Erstig, and so I, I had to wait for inspiration for songs, as I remember, really like in the middle of the night, this idea came to be, this song, beautiful same out. So, beautiful song, he said, Mizmor David, Hashem Roi, Lo Yachsar. Now let us carry on with the Chadodi, you see the same message of Jews, like looking for a giver for God, to get more and more inspiration. So the first one we said, the Chadodi Likat Kala, Meshabbat Nekabela. Now then we said, Shamor Vezachor Bedibor Yachal. God keep 
in one well we know in one speech we know God said the term the all the commandments the ten in one breath the Bu had Ishmiano Kelam Yuchad God brought it to us to hear us to hear it yeah also the same build up Shamor Vizaho with Bu had four Ishmiano Elam Yuchad four and three exactly the same idea then carry on and what is afterwards again you said a khadadi kakala ne shabbat kabela then the other part is the krat shabbat the khubi mencha towards the shabbat go four words the khubi mencha let us go go and let us go oh the khadra the krat shabbat khubi mencha ki i mekora bacha in fact ki i is like one expression because as it is as it is mekora bacha is a source of blessing also, four and three, right? Then we say the chad v'di, l'ikrat kalam, l'shabat v'kabla again. Then comes, after l'ikrat Shabbat, comes Migdash Melech, Ir Melucha, Kumisi Mirosha, this is afterwards. But amazing that in the really l'ikrat, as we said before, l'ikrat kalam, לקראת שבת נלכו בנלכה כי היא מקור הברכה זה עזר פרט is מראש מקדם נסוכה from the beginning מקדם another story מקדם נסוכה it is like inspired or סוף מעשה במחשבה תחילה זה end of deed of creation מחשבה תחילה זה סוף in the beginning what happens here? you have three and four so after so many, not many, in fact six, if I think, and again, and then it means after the six, we can't be rosh mekredem lesucha, three and four. But there is also a teaching in it also. After we have really such longing to learn, to study, to come near to God, to get from Him, then, the rosh then God give us, then can the three and four comes good. After we feel like dug, like fish in ourselves to learn to, to get near to God and so to touch to God, cleave to God, whatever it is, so many times, six times. Then God says, no, me rosh, me kredem, ne sucha. Three and four, amazing. How much teaching you have in the order of verse. As we said, all this song is based on Kabbalah, 10 spheres. Now something also unbelievable is the amount of words in the Chadali. You see there are 10 parts against the 10 spheres. And you have 144 words. Why 144 words? Because there are 144 letters in the Vayichul HaShemayim Vares. So those who say Kiddush on Shabbat, Vechul HaShemayim Vares, Chol Svaram, these verses, there are 35 verses, but there are 144 letters. 144 is those in the Merkel belly of Kedem, Rosh Mi Kedem Esucha Kedem, the beginning of the world, Kedem. There's a good wine also Kedem, they say it, but this is Kedem. And this is the number of verses in the Chadodi, verses, which divided also 72 and 72. 72 is also a very important number. Chesed, the full name of God. So, amazing teaching in the numbers of words in the Lechadadi, which is exactly like the letters in the verses of creation of the words. Vechul HaShemayim Vares Vechol Zvaram. The end of creation. Heaven and earth.
This is a song also, my compositions, read by my son Echo Boch and singing together. And this is a song Karibon Olam, Yaribon Olam Volmaya. God is the creator of the, this world, which was created with the letter A, and used the world to come. Yud, small one, against the world to come, and the righteous people will be there. And five, hey, this is this world, the A, which was created with A. And this is what we praise God on Shabbat, Karibon Olam. God is the master of this world and the world to come. Now this is a song really for the end of Shabbat and this we said Jacob don't be afraid the Jewish people don't be afraid God is with you and we save you as he promised you and then definitely Elijah will come this is a false meal this is the end of Shabbat definitely the time of Elijah you know this is really the night of Shabbat, which is a night that we are expecting and waiting for the redemption for Elijah to come. So this is a song al Tira Yaakov, which I composed also, sing my son. But as we said, mainly telling Jacob, don't be afraid, because I swore to you, and so on, all of our promises to Jacob that nothing will happen to him and God will save him and bring Messiah soon. Don't be afraid, Jacob. Hashem Yaakov, God swore to Jacob that he swore that he will keep the Jewish people all over all the time. God will forgive the sins of Jacob. Don't be afraid, Jacob. Please bring us repentant Yaakov. God redeemed Jacob all history. He redeemed us in future. Don't be afraid. Enjoy. Don't be afraid, my Jacob. God will return those by those from exile back to Israel. Don't be afraid, my servant Jacob.
when the voice is the voice of Jacob, the voice of Torah, then I'll tear up the Yaakov, don't be afraid, my servant Yaakov. This is the end of Shabbos, and really we need this promise not to go through the week. So many problems, so many difficulties, and this is what God says. Don't worry, I'll the Yaakov, don't be afraid. If you keep the Torah, I will be with you, and we'll be happy, and things will be all right. But if we not, right, you have to be afraid. So, we are nearing Shabbos here in the state, New York. And uh, as what I wanted to share today again, the greatness of the Lashon HaKodesh, to show you really how much is behind letters, behind words, you know, sometimes we don't even know the languages. And this is really what the world will realize in the time of the Messiah, as we said in Sephania. Verse 9 says, I will turn on the nation, clear language, the holy tongue. Means the world will realize how much is the Hebrew language in the Hebrew letters, you see. And this is what I try to show you. Now, this what you hear is now a verse which are composed without song, without words. Because some say that verse like a little bit cut, you know, the connection, but. When it is only music is flowing and the solar comes up better. composition played by my son Jacob Baruch. So, I think as I said, we are nearing approaching Shabbos. Here we go to Shul and welcoming the Shabbos, the Chadar Dili Kratkala. The Shabbat now, you will understand a little bit more. What is behind this song? Maybe you appreciate it more, you sing it properly. Right? Again, another lecture which I gave you. And Mirza Shem hoping to give you more lectures, all of them to show what is really the holy tongue, what is the Shana Kodesh, and how much is behind every letter. Gimatia, we saw already in other lectures what is the letters, Aleph, and so on. And this is very important, because by this we know to preach the Torah, to preach God, you know, the God was created with the Aleph Bet. And as we said, really part of the revelation of Messiah will be the revelation of the Holy Tongue. And really part of it is also the talk or the Bible call. In fact, maybe I give you something that you don't need the calculator to make, to see the beauty of the code. So now, I hope that you say Kiddush tonight, as we say Kiddush on the vine. So they start, Yom HaShishi, Vaychulu HaShamayim V'Arasu Chol Tzvaham. The verse we said, Vaychulu HaShamayim V'Aretz, Yom HaShishi on the Friday, sixth day, Vaychulu HaShamayim V'Arasu Chol Tzvaham, the earth and 
I haven't finished. So, now if you take the letter Yud, Yom Hashishi, Yud, Yom Hashishi, the letter, last letter Yud is the last Yud. You take it every seven letters. You can, uh, Shamaim, you come to Israel, Shin, seven letters after Resh, then Aleph, Lokim, and Lamed. So you have the word Israel, Israel, every seven, seven letters. So the last Yud of Yom Hashishi, not the first one, so Yom Hashishi, Yud, Vayichulu, Asha Shin, Asha Mai, Be'aris and Reish, Otsvam, and you have the word Israel come, Israel, Israel, Yishar Kel, so it is God, sing to God, right? Once in, the, in Genesis, amazing, once in Genesis, why seven? Because Shabbos is the seventh day. Why comes Israel with his Shabbos together? As we mentioned before, the Chadadi, why? Because Israel and the Shabbos, like bride and bridegroom, yeah? So this is exactly the place where it appears. Amazing at code number seven and also the right place, which is also important in codes, you know, that the codes are found in the right place, and this is very, very important. So, as we said, we are nearing the Shabbos, opposing the Shabbos, and let us hope that really we enjoy it properly and we'll get as much as we can from this very wonderful, very important day, the day of Shabbos. So, have a good Shabbos and take advantage of any second of Shabbos because it's a special day and we have an extra soul which gave you and definitely enjoying it properly, understanding the real meaning of life, the real value of life, not the physical, the spiritual, how much is important to learn, to study Torah, and how much is the Torah, which really will change all your life in Baruch Hashem. Many people I was involved in teaching in Israel, Amsterdam, and South Africa, and clearly could see how people change when they saw this beauty of the holy language, what is real Judaism. So let us hope that we carry on in the same way, we we'll do tshuva, and as the Maimonides says, when you do tshuva, then redemption comes, and Messiah, and peace, and quiet, really, to the whole world. And this is what we need today, very, very much. So have a good Shabbos, and as I said, try to get the most as you can from this wonderful Shabbos. This is a month now, Mirchas Adam Rabin Besimcha, from the time sh this month we are still in Rosh Chodesh, being of the month, we have to increase happiness, and we say, are you increase happiness? And Simcha Ketarat Asvekot, it's no real happiness, are solving problems, so the more you see God in what is happening, everything from heaven, divine providence. You understand this is the idea of the Megillah, Megillah Esther, what is the scroll of Esther. In Hebrew means Megillah, revealing of the hidden. And how you, how you reveal Esther. Esther is Aleph Setter, this Aleph, aloof, in the hidden. When you see that even in the hidden world, God is there. This is exactly what we saw in the story of Esther, in the scroll of Esther. Outside it looked like everything is natural, that Mordechai came out, Esther came out, but then in the end we say this is a real great miracle that happened that saved Jews from disaster, from Holocaust, because the story of Purim is exactly like the story of Germany, by the way. Almost the same amount of year. Hitler, much more, is like Haman, the same thing, yeah, both Samalekim, both of them wanted to destroy, to wipe out the Jewish people. Today we have Amani, Iran, but amazing that then, we just did Shuba, the story is known that Mordechai and Esther brought the people together and told them you must do Shuba, repent, and accept the Torah willingly, as it is known, this I will say. 
And the other class, unfortunately, didn't listen to the rabbis who threatened them. Many times you must know if you came with a simulation reform, breaking the Torah, doing things against the Torah. So, interesting, one of the rabbis, Rabbi Salan, said to them, you are making now a new code of law, you know, what suits you. So Nirenberg will make a new code of law against Jews, and you know what really happened. So, this is the truth. I wrote the whole book, which is the Holocaust in Bible code, it's Professor Aralik together. And I brought many, many articles of that time. The rabbis clearly said the Holocaust is open t- going to happen. So in all the history of Hitler, you know, there was a Satan behind him. The Satan came because, unfortunately, breaking the Torah. So, so what we spoke before about the greatness of Lechad Odi of Shabbos, you can see in my book, Hidden Light. Hidden Light of Shabbos. One can get it in my site, glazerson.com, glazersonbooks.com, the same thing. Holocaust in Bible code also, in many books which I have, about 25, I think, in English, about any subject, you know, music and Kabbalah, uh, astrology about the Zodiac, because this was a try to show how great is the Hebrew language. So, have a good Shabbos. Try to get as much as we learn. As we said, now we are in the time of Adar, and we have to increase Simchai by learning more and more and to realize how everything really is from God. And we say this year, what was going on, hurricanes and all kinds of earthquakes and things, which not was before, also is a big sign that we are ending in the time of the Messiah. So have a good Shabbos, important Shabbos now preparing us for Purim and for Pesach, Passover, really are on the way to a very important time and we have to make use of it, as we said, by studying, learning and keeping Torah and Mitzvot.